Hello friends, it's Cindy Brumbaugh from CindyLeeBDesigns.com, Independent Stamping Up Demonstrator. Today I'm going to show you a fun fold using the Citrus Sweet Citrus Bundle in the Stampin' Up! Catalog, January through April 2023. It has a really cool hybrid embossing folder in it and this great stamp set that's gonna accent all these this texture in these images. Now, this is called an envelope flap fun fold because it looks like an envelope. You can do this with so many different stamp sets. You just pop it right back under your focal image here. So I'm gonna show you how super easy this is to make. So we're gonna sit that cute little thing. I'm gonna bring my light over here a little better. It was giving a little glare off of the stamp case. Okay, so I'm gonna use change up the colors a little bit here. I'm using Granny Apple Green, and this is a four and a quarter by five and a half. All the measurements for this card are underneath the YouTube description, but also in that description, you'll see visit my blog here. You can press that link. It takes you over to cindyleebdesigns.com and you can see additional photos and exclamation explanations over there. So um, don't worry about scratching everything down there. So I'm starting with Granny Apple Green. On this card, I used Balmy Blue. I'm using the DSP that's in the Dandy Designs, and that is the 48 sheet of 12 by 12 that's available for a $100 order during celebration right now till the end of February. That is a major, major deal. The paper is beautiful. So many bright spring colors. So you're going to start out with a piece of DSP, designer series paper, and stamping up lingo. And it's going to be a square that measures three and three quarters on all four sides, a three and three quarters square. And then you simply just fold it over to make that envelope flap. Is that fun or what? So then we're going to be putting that onto our card, but we need to put this part this flap part, okay? Well, because we are using the card base as four and a quarter by five, we're gonna bring down this piece of white that goes in here. It's gonna go down to four by five and a quarter, but we have to flip it open so it's gonna be eight, okay? So we are gonna take this piece here and we are going to have measured that at five and a quarter by eight and scored it at four. And that is going to slip in here and be that fun part of the envelope flap. But before we do that, let's take a look at this card. I use that wonderful new embossing folder as it was meant to be an embossing folder, just a plain embossing folder. So that embossing folder, the Sweet Sistress embossing folder, has so many different capabilities here. So what we're going to do is run it through the stamp and cut emboss machine. And luckily we will be able to do it. So I'm gonna put, this is the piece that's gonna go in. So I'm just gonna slide it over to where the score line fold is, okay? Where that score line fold is. And I'm going to run it through my Big Shot and I'm gonna run it this way so that I don't get any I mean, it's not gonna emboss here, but you can run it through your big shot that way. So you can take a pretty a look here at the inside of this card, and I'm gonna run this through, and I may as well show you the sandwich I'm gonna use. Now the sandwich you would use with this is just your base plate, okay? Not a magnetic plate, so you're using number one. <clears throat> if you have a different die cutting machine, like a big shot, you're gonna flip open one of the flaps or use just the bottom plate. So the bottom plate, you're gonna put that on there. You're gonna be careful when you're rolling this through because if it shifts, you don't wanna damage this embossing folder, especially because it's a very valuable one because it has a die that goes in it. Then we're gonna use this thicker gray plate. Now this is the one that comes with the Stampin' Emboss machine, but you may already have that like purplish bluish purple one that was like a clear acrylic one that also works as well so i'm going to run this through the embossing machine right over here you're just looking at how pretty those um, colors are and the there we go you can hear it went through all righty so here i am back and now i've embossed the front of that card is that just 
a beautiful, deep emboss there. I just am amazed at how pretty that is. Um, so we now are going to, you know what, just for the sake of it, why don't we just stamp right in inside here in case for some reason I mess up my stamping then I don't already have this glued on. So I'm just gonna put the cutest little sentiment in there and it is called, um, and you know what, this card is all granny apple so I'm not gonna use the balmy blue. I'm going to use the granny apple green for my sentiment on the inside of the card. So set this aside and make sure I don't have any ink on this. I do not. I'm going to ink this up with the granny apple green. Really fun font there. And I'm going to keep it close to the fold line so I have room to put my lemons in there. One, two, three. There we go. Sending you a big squeeze. Get it? Lemons, grapefruits, limes, oranges, whatever you want this to be. Any kind of sweet citrus. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is put this fold here. Now, when you go to put this on, when you fold a three and three quarters, it is practically five and a quarter. This could be just operator um, you know, the difference between where I put it on my um, stamina cut, I mean on my trimmer. But if you have a little hangover and you don't like that, we can trim it off. But what we're going to do is put some glue. I put it on the flap here. And that flap, again, was three and three quarters by three and three quarters, a square. Okay. Then we're going to slide it so that our... that the fold line is right there. And you'll see I have a teeny, teeny, teeny bit of overhang there, but that doesn't bother me because what I'm just gonna do is snip off that little tiny bit right here. Just snip that right there, nobody will know. There we go, snippity snip. Okay, so now we have some pretty fun color in there. All right, and you know what? We literally can put this on here now. So let's go ahead and do that. And this bottom card is like actually the front of a card base and it's four and a quarter by five and a half. I think I said that correctly at the beginning. Sometimes you say the dimension and then you're like, did I say the right one? So this back dimension is four and a quarter by five and a half. So there is the hardest part there. We've almost got our card done. So now some other fun details of this stamp set, this bundle. Okay, so this fun embossing folder has a die that slips into it. So that's what makes it hybrid. So right here, it fits in here. It doesn't snap in, it just fits. You can just tell it's in place because it's not moving, but it doesn't snap. I don't know why they don't snap. I don't know, it must be some kind of manufacturing thing. But what we're gonna do is do some stamping, then put it in here and roll it through. But before we do that, you can see there how it fits into there, okay? We are going to do some stamping. Now, a lot of different colors. Now, I will say on this card, I used mango and pale papaya, but on this one, I'm going to use daffodil and pale papaya, which maybe doesn't even make a big amount of difference, but I actually was um, playing around and I had it, so that's what we're gonna do. So what you're gonna do is ink up the outline, okay? And I consider the outline the darker part. And when I'm doing something that has two step stamping, I usually like to do the dark part first. If the inside would have been dark, I would have done it first. But since the outside is dark on this one, that's the way I'm going to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna look at the, okay. So here we go. And we are going to stamp down that outside. Look at the texture in that already with the, kind of the um, bumpiness that citrus has. 
the bumpiness. Okay, so now we're gonna take the fleshy part of the fruit and we are going to do pal papaya. So we're just gonna ink up the pale papaya. And like I said before, this could be lemons, limes, oranges, grapefruits, white grapefruits, pink grapefruits. Oh my gosh, so many different things. Okay, so now we're gonna line these up in these spots. And I try to keep my eye on the round one and the segment because the other one, it just, there we go. The other one kind of fits in there, but it's not perfect. So let's just see how that goes. Pale papaya, and you have a nice contrast. Is that cute? Now, if that doesn't give you enough texture, let me show you. I'm gonna leave my daffodil open because I need to use that again, but I'm gonna put away my pale papaya. Okay, so now let me show you how we're gonna do this. What we're gonna do now is, now see how that doesn't you know, stay in, clicked in, but it's there. Wait, <laughs> okay, the best way to know how to do this is you are seeing your words stamping up here and you open it and then the die goes in the top. And like I said, you'll just feel, you'll feel resistance that it's staying in place. Now we're very carefully gonna kind of hold this like this, keeping it in place. And we're going to put our stamped image, we're gonna line up the color. And it's really not that hard to do because it does stay in place because you're putting pressure with the paper and you just kind of put your ink part in the embossed part. So you can see it fits in there. Then you carefully close this, go run it through, and you'll do the same sandwich with the one plate and the gray plate, your like thicker one. Um, and then you just run that through your embossing folder and you come back and you just pull this off and look, it embossed and cut at the same time. I am taking no risks of losing anything, so I'm popping this back into my, my packaging. See how that works? Cuts and embosses at the same time. Now, if that's not like super cool to you, it doesn't like amaze you. I mean, look at the embossing. I can show you on the back how great that embossing is there. See how deep it is? And when you look at these pieces of citrus, they just you just wanna touch them. I wish we could actually, ooh, we probably could do that um, scratch and sniff technique. Have you ever heard of that? Where you take, I think it's um, sugar-free, uh, sugar-free, like a crystal light, and you mix it with your embossing powder, and then you stamp, and it, you can scratch it and sniff it. Ooh, that might be a fun video to do. I haven't done that for 100 years. Okay, so back to our card. Now remember, we're gonna be popping this underneath. So whatever we build up here, we wanna make sure that it is going, it's not gonna impede that envelope. So what I found easy to do with my lemons here is I'm going to put a back on them, but I just realized before we do that, I mean, I think this is more like a, a grapefruit, but we're gonna pretend it's a lemon there. Okay, um, I wanna show you a couple tricks that I did to get some placement of my uh, stamping of my leaves. Two little tricks I do when I'm stamping here. The one trick is I, Use my stamp or Okay, I'm afraid these guys are gonna get lost here. So let's put them over there. A little lemon. Okay, so what I do is I put them in here and then I can stamp a bunch of these at one time. So I wanted two of these. Now I'm gonna show you, you can put a blank one in there. Now you're, let's just, I'm gonna get them stamped and then I'm gonna show you. Actually, I can just show you right now. Okay, let's take away the sample, the one I already, no, let's go ahead and we'll do this one. Okay, so this one, and then I'm gonna ink up my leaves. Would have been good to get my spots out. Spots are great with the, I just put a blank one in there, okay? 
This makes stamping really quick because you don't have to get over there and fiddle with your dies, okay? And then I have perfectly stamped green leaves, okay? Now, doo -doo 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 -doo. where is, um, okay. So I'm gonna show you how I made this, okay? I'm just gonna use, take that one out and just show you how to do that. Just, you know, we're using photopolymer, so we're gonna have our little mat in there. So what you're gonna do is just take a blank, put that blank in there, and stamp your leaves, okay? Just stamp your leaves. This trick has saved me so much time, so much frustration about getting a perfect die. Then I just went and I die cut out a blank. I just went with a scrap and got a blank. Now bring the scrap back and put it around this image so that you see the perfect amount of border that you want and then just tape it down. And like I said, this is a different way of doing it that my friend Janet Munden showed me and now I do it all the time. Now I can just put this blank in here. Okay, put that blank in there, grab my I can't see real well grab my granny apple green put my blank in there stamp down and the nice thing about the stamp set there's two of the same dies for the leaves so you can you could pop actually two sets on here well you can't really unless you had two stamp sets now that didn't make sense but if you you know so there we go we have two of our leaves that we need. Okay, so that's one trick that's fun to do um, to cut down on your time and your frustration of not getting a perfect cut. The other little trick that I do is I will also, now I could do that same thing with this, um, but this is something else I do. I will take an image. I've got fuzzies everywhere today and I'm gonna stamp this image, these pretty blue flowers. And the reason why I wanna show you this is because these flowers have these cute little dots around them that'll be perfect whenever you're not die cutting them. And these two little things here are the middles of the flowers. So there's one um, image in the stamp set that has two and one has one. So I'm just gonna go with the daffodil and do the two and then put it right in the two flowers at the same time. Not making myself get mad if it's not perfect, <gasps> but it was pretty darn close. Okay, so we've got those. And there's one big one that's all by itself and that goes in the big flower. Okay, and one thing that's, um, like I went and die cut this and then it just wasn't perfect for me. So I did the same thing. I went and die cut one image, okay? Now I could have done the same thing in my Stamparatus, but I wasn't maybe gonna do that many. So this is another trick you can do if you don't have a Stamparatus. So you have your images done, you come back here and take this template and you line up the template. Now, I hope you can see this, but you get a perfect white image around them on your acrylic plate. Grab well, this time I am using my magnetic platform. And then you just put that down, keep it in place, and then you go grab that die. I'm gonna put these leaves over here. I feel like they're gonna go somewhere. And then you just put that right here. Okay, I heard the doorbell. That might mean that my little granddaughter's coming over for me to watch them today. So if it gets a little crazy, I'm not going to do this video again. So we shall see. Okay, so we just put that on there, run it through.
and you have three little perfect flowers cut. It would be a little more tedious doing it the way I did with the leaves because you'd have to cut out all those blanks and pop them in. This way is super quick for me. So you've got pretty three pretty little blue flowers. Okay, let's put this together now. Okay, so like I said, we have our citrus. I'm going to put the solid one and the segment on the inside. So I'm just gonna use some glue, secure that to the inside of the card. I tried to put the sentiment on the outside, but it wasn't working, but I kind of like it on the inside. Look at the texture of the stamping on that. And then we'll put our little segment there. We've got the inside done, and now we're just gonna pop together our outside. Okay, so I figured out how I liked this one to look, and I put some glue so that I could secure it to so I could secure it right there okay then I put some glue on my leaves and I pop them on here onto the, oh, I'm doing it off camera. Sorry, I looked up and I said, ooh. Okay, so now I have this. Now I was afraid that the flap was gonna be causing a little bit of havoc. So what I did is I went back and I put some glue on the actual fruit, okay? That's the thing with glue. Um, and then I put blanks that I die cut to give it stability. So this one goes right, this one has a little bump here, right there. Just stamped it, glued it on the back, just die cutting it. And then this one has a little bit of a wiggle here. So I think that's where that one goes. No, ooh, how does that one go? Let's just put it kind of there. All right, now we're holding these down so they get a good secure, and that way it's got a good secure backing on it and it's not going to get messed up by, the, um, by this flap going under. So looking at that, you wanna make sure that you have your dimensionals handy. Opening up a new pack because I have so many scraps there, so. Here we go, get a dimensional behind here. And I'm like I said, I'm gonna make sure I don't put it anywhere close to where that flap is gonna be, or else you're gonna be mad. We don't want mad stampers, we want happy stampers. Okay, so we're gonna go just like that, and that will not impede with that. So we're gonna take off our protective part of our, uh, and put that onto the card. I think I'm gonna bring it over a little more there. Just wanna make sure it's on there. Okay, and then you can see that it's not gonna impede that. And then we're gonna pop in some blue with our flowers. So I'm gonna put a little mini dimensional, which I had here. Oh, here they are, over here. I have a few little minis left, a little mini there. Make sure you save all these edges so that you can use them again. So I'm going to put that little mini one back there. I'm kind of pop this like, so it's kind of on top of there. And then I'm gonna put a little one. I have two other little ones. Jim's down there cooking or cleaning or doing something. I can hear him and it smells good. I made a quiche this morning, one of my faves. So that'll be good for this next couple of days and then we're gonna put a little blue and then another one up here to just kind of create like a, 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 a triple effect here and there we go and then you can see that we can open up this envelope flap and we've got a really pretty inside and then this just pops right through there two fun cards using that citrus bundle and it comes 
with that hybrid embossing folder that we simply just stamp our images, come back, and remember when you stamp the image, be looking at Stampin' Up, lift it up, and this is where your die fits in. And it just kind of makes itself in there, stamp your two-step stamping, then put it, flip it over, put your stamped image, line up the ink with the embossing, close it up, run it through with just the base plate and then your gray or your bluish colored um, plate that's with these thicker embossing folders. No acrylic plate underneath, just right on the base. Then with the gray one or the blue one on top, run it through and you come off with these wonderfully embossed deep embossed sit peaches of citrus and you can whip this up and remember these quick little squares are just three and three quarters and you fold them over to make a triangle put it underneath your piece of paper that was eight by five and a quarter scored at four and then just pop up some image on the front and you have got i i love this you're able to see the actual embossed image and the colored image so i hope you had fun watching this if you have any questions please don't hesitate to text me at 724-323-2296 if you have a question that you need to talk to me please feel free to you can always comment on my youtube description um, underneath it you can always comment on my blog if you don't get back if I don't get back to you on one of those mediums just try another because there's a lot out there thanks for buzzing by friends